What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use deep learning facial recognition and bring that technology to your PHP application. So the inner workings and the machine learning implementation is not done in PHP but that's going to be abstracted away a little bit in this and what you're going to end up with is a PHP function that takes two inputs which are uh, references to images and then will return a probability confidence that the two images are the same person. So face recognition. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is open up the terminal here. And this implementation relies on Docker to do a lot of the heavy lifting. PHP really isn't well suited for the kind of like core ML operations that need to be performed in order to actually um, do the training or the inference. So the way this is set up is we leverage Docker and use existing Docker containers which already have Python, TensorFlow, and all the kind of requisite packages and dependencies that we'll need in order to uh, do the actual inference. But from a programming perspective, we're going to be able to uh, integrate this into a PHP application. And what we'll end up with is just a function, a PHP function that takes two arguments, which will be the actual images that we want to compare, and then it will just return uh, the results of that ML inference. So the first thing we want to do is download the Docker container that supports this whole um, function. So we're going to do docker pull MacGyver technology forward slash, let me just double check here. face comparison model and then we want to use version 2 and this should kick off the download for this docker image okay so i'm going to run docker images which will list out the images and just confirm here that our image is available and it is so now what i'm going to do is I'm going to list out the contents of the container I'm in. So in the description, I'll provide a link to the actual PHP code, uh, as well as a link to the, the Docker image that you need to download. But the PHP code, um, at its essence, is just this file here. So I've labeled it exampleusage.php. And all we do is we import a small library, which is facemodel.php. And so you don't have to worry about that. All you have to do is add the import line. And then you immediately have access to a function called compare. Compare takes two arguments. The arguments are paths to local images. So you can see here I have dot forward slash, which means get the current directory and look for a image called elon1.jpg and then elon2.jpg and then we'll be comparing these two images to determine if it's the same person. It'll write the results to a variable called probability of which we can do anything we want. In this case I'm going to print it out to the console. Um, as you can see in my directory here I do have two images so we just want to make sure that we're referencing the proper directory and that those images exist. We can change these names that's totally fine. Um, if I pull open my finder window I can just compare even further. Um, basically I have a picture of Elon Musk, another picture of Elon Musk, and I expect the comparison to um, print out uh, a true face comparison match um, and, and recognize that. So let's see here. So all we have to do at this point is run this example file. And so there's different right ways to execute PHP. Some of you guys might have PHP um, as an executable on a server where you just like hit a page, a .php page from your browser and it runs the file. I'm in the console here and in order to execute PHP, you call the runtime PHP and then you pass it the file name itself and it will kick that off. So let's go ahead and do that. 
And so what it's doing right now is it's starting the Docker container, it's passing those images to the Docker container, running the inference, that ML inference, and then it should return the results of that inference. Okay, so it returns a JSON structure. This first property here just says how many faces it finds in each image. So in theory, you could pass uh, an image with multiple faces and it would call that out here. And then it uh, gives you the property match where the value is true. So that's what I expect. And then it also gives you uh, the coordinates of the face on the test image. Um, so this is pretty much what I expect, which is great. Um, so now let's try another example. Let's pass a picture of Elon and then a picture of Obama and see what the model says. So if I open up the PHP executable, so again, currently it's passing Elon 1, Elon 2. Well, let's do Elon 1, Obama. So I just save that and I rerun the process. Okay. So again, one face per picture matches false. Um, and so, so this model is pretty good. Um, even with low quality images, low light settings, etc., it's pretty good. Um, just to give you guys kind of like a order of operations of what's actually going on with the um, with uh, this file here, I'm just going to pull up a diagram here. So this is our PHP file, but what happens when we execute this? And the answer is it kicks off a process to take that Docker image we've created and create a container. A container is a working instance of an image. What's in the Docker container is TensorFlow, Python, and that actual face recognition model that's already been trained. We then take the two local images and copy it into the Docker container because this executable needs to have access to those images. We then run the Python executable, which actually runs the inference model against the two images. That returns a JSON structure with match or no match. We then do some cleanup where we stop the container and then we delete the container. And so all that's going on when we uh, execute this file here. But um, you, that's kind of abstracted away. You don't have to concern yourself with that uh, if you're the PHP developer um, on, on the particular project. Anyways, all these resources are available for you. I hope it was clear, concise, and I hope you learned uh, how to run a face comparison in PHP. Okay, thanks for listening.